Five disciplines to work on this week that when you do them, they'll work on your self-esteem and make you feel better. The first one, meet more people. There you go, it's on the paper. Meet more people. Why? We're in the meet the people business. Meet more people. More than you've ever met before this week. Meet more people. Write it down, how many you're going to meet, and then write down the word, no fail, I am going to meet that many people this week. I am going to start building on the discipline to make me feel better about myself. The, never, the next thing I wrote down is, follow up on a minimum number of people. Follow up on a minimum number of people. I wrote down, prospecting is lead generating. I've got to get you to get this thought. Prospecting is lead generating. There's a really, really, really good chance when you're out door knocking or you're out prospecting on the phone, you're not going to get an appointment at that specific moment. What you're going to get is a lead that when followed up on, even over a short period of time, because you could get a lead for somebody that wants to sell a house tomorrow. I get that. You could also get a lead for somebody that wants to sell a house or list a house in the next week or two. I understand that. You have to get that in your head that prospecting is lead generating. Now, follow up, write this down, is appointment setting. So lead generating without follow-up is a giant hole of nothing. Got it? Yes. You get nothing. You've got to follow up on your leads to set those appointments. Now, write this down. This was one of those blinding flashes of the obvious. No appointments. No money. <laughs> Think about what I just said. No appointments, no money. At the end of the week, if you've not done your job, meaning you haven't prospected, and you haven't followed up on those prospects, and you don't have an appointment, a buyer or a seller, the chances are you're going to have no money in the future. Does that make sense? Say yes. yes. You've got to get that in your head. You can't let a week go by without having a certain number of buyer or seller appointments. Appointment meaning you went out and made a presentation. Or you went out and you showed property. No appointments, no money. No appointments, no money. So every week, you had better have some appointments, or in the future, you're going to have what? No, no, no money. money. We are in the meet the people business. Number three. Preview a minimum amount, whatever that minimum amount is for you this week, of doors, excuse me, of uh, preview a minimum amount of properties, okay? Now, we already talked about, we have the mapping program, we've laid it out for you on the uh, MLS, it's real easy to work, you can focus in on it, if you need more information on it, Frank and Kevin are going to do it, we're actually going to do a little bit of a webinar on it probably next week or the week after, so that those of you that didn't get it, or need a refresher on it, you can just plug, push a button, and go after it. We're just trying to make it that easy for you. It's simple. Find five properties in one small area, go door knock them, preview them, see what they're, what's available, and then door knock ten houses around it. It's that simple. That's what you need to do.
I did the same thing, point number four, is go see a minimum amount of expireds. So go see, I think it should be five expireds at the door every day. But that's my number. So five previews, five expireds, and door knock, ten around each one. And then number, point number five is a minimum amount of role play and script practice. A minimum amount, half an hour a day, an hour a day. Maybe this week you're going to write your listing presentation script out every day. Maybe you're going to take today and learn one objection handler where you know it cold. Those are the things you need to work on. I wrote, so you got the first thing is meet more people. The second thing to do this week is follow up on a minimum number of people. The third thing is preview properties, a minimum number of doors, door knock around them. Number four, a minimum number of expireds, door knock around them. And then number five is practice, drill, and rehearse. Practice, drill, and rehearse. The last thought is to write down today matters. In fact, under today matters, write down now matters. Right now. Yes, today matters, but sometimes we get lost with the enormity of today. Today has 24 hours in it. That's a long time for me to do stuff. Well, focus in on what you're doing now. What are you doing in the next hour? What trust, what am I working on? What, if, and if I'm not working, if I'm not working on one of these five things, I need to stop doing whatever I'm doing and focus in on these five things during the work day. Anything else is before work and after work. Remember, today matters, now matters. And let's go out and make this the best week we've ever had so far.